Hey, this is Mike from The Run Testers, and this is our first run review of the Kiprun 500 GPS watch. Okay, so what is the Kiprun 500? Well, essentially, it's a watch that you can buy from Decathlon only as far as I understand. It's powered by Coros, uh, and what that essentially means is that all the software and um, the app that you use is Coros, basically. And essentially, what you are getting here is the original Coros Pace, um, with the Decathlon branding, essentially. So if you go on the Chorus website right now, you can't buy this watch anymore. It's discontinued. So essentially what it looks like is that Chorus has put their kind of cheapest watch, their first ever watch, into Decathlon stores and give you an option or a more affordable option if you don't want to get paid more for the Pace 2, the Apex and the Vertex. Um, so essentially what you're getting here, the Chorus Pace, all the same features, all the same kind of functionality, which I'm going to get into now and let you know what the kind of key features are with the Kiprun 500. Okay, so let's get into the nitty gritty details of what you can expect from the Decathlon Kiprun 500 powered by Coros. As mentioned, it's essentially an original Coros pace. You're getting four physical buttons as your way to get through screens, a 47 millimeter case, and a 1.2 inch 240 by 240 transfector display that all weighs in at 48 grams. The watch software is all Coros as well, and you'll pair it up with the same Coros app as watches like the Vertix and the Pace 2. That's where you'll find the same array of features, and yes, you can hook it up to Strava. In terms of running software features, there's three running modes with support for interval training, and you can follow training plans on it too. You'll be able to see data like distance, speed, pace, heart rate, and heart rate zones. You don't get navigation features like you get on Coros's Apex and Vertex watches. It will also generate training insights like running performance, training load, training focus, and break down cadence and stride length stats here too. You can view phone notifications, change watch faces, set alarms, and broadcast HR as well here too. In terms of running hardware features, there's GPS, GLONASS, and Beidou satellite support and three modes to make sure you lock onto a signal very quickly. GPS battery life is up to 25 hours and it should be good to use for around 30 days as well. You've got the useful battery usage features to see what's hogging power, but unlike newer Chorus watches, it uses a clamp style charger to power things back up. Other things worth mentioning, it does track things beyond running, so things like swimming and cycling, for example. You can connect heart rate monitors to it and running pods via Bluetooth and AMP+. Plus and it's waterproof up to 50 meters. So in terms of the run test, I have only done one run with this, so it definitely is kind of initial thoughts on one run. Um, that was a kind of easy, kind of paced um, couple of hours, kind of hit up to kind of 25K, just over 25K. Um, I was using it alongside um, the Phoenix 7, and that was paired up to a um, Wahoo ticker chest strap monitor. And I had the um, Phoenix 7 in the kind of the top end kind of multi-band GNS kind of GPS accuracy. So, you know, obviously more expensive watch, but I wanted to see how it fared against kind of what would be claimed, you know, the most, one of the most accurate kind of GPS kind of watches you can probably get at the moment. In terms of that accuracy, it wasn't perfect. It definitely underreported me slightly, but it wasn't, you know, huge, hugely off, but it definitely was off from the Phoenix 7. Um, but things like average pace kind of worked out um, pretty pretty much spot on for me. It was just off, but by about a second. Um, and then kind of looking at the other kind of uh, metrics that you're kind of picking up, things looked very similar. Nothing out of the ordinary for me in that kind of first run. And then heart rate monitoring performance, um, again, pretty good. You know, it was a steady pace run for me. So no kind of big kind of high kind of interval intensity kind of moments in those runs. Um, I'm going to say very easy paced. And actually it did pretty well. I think it was kind of th three BPM out from the kind of average, which I think, is okay and then the max average uh, the max heart rate sorry was kind of there with the um, chest strap as well so from that point of view pretty solid it's kind of what i had our experience with the original pace i think pretty good for steady runs um obviously i would like to know or like to see how it works for kind of the high intensity stuff um when you really have to push that heart rate monitor um but so far so good um the watch itself very similar to how you know what it was like using the original pace you know you can see your screens nicely you've got the buttons you don't have a touch screen here so you're using the physical buttons to kind of skip through your Field. You have that ability to kind of customize things as well. And the screen was easy to see for me. It's a nice, good size screen um, as well. And the strap was comfortable for me as well. So no issues there. So the other thing to mention here is battery life. And Coros is very well renowned for delivering strong battery life, kind of GPS 
wise and then kind of standby mode and when you kind of use it in kind of smartwatch mode. Now in that two hour 20 run, the battery life dropped from 100% to 96%. So 4%, I think that's pretty good. Um, it feels like this is gonna kind of hold up well in terms of that GPS, uh, that promised GPS battery uh, life and also kind of in that standby mode as well, which is where I think Coral Swatches really excel in terms of, you know, you can leave it for a few days and it's not draining, you know, that battery in a really undesirable way. So overall, pretty solid, I think, um, in my first run uh, with the uh, Kip Run 500. And I will be intrigued to see how it performs and whether it can maintain that kind of performance uh, over a kind of longer period of testing when we all do our full review. So initial thoughts on the Kip Run 500 is pretty solid overall. Um, it is essentially a Coros Pace. I've used the Coros Pace, the original, a lot. I've tested and run a lot with that watch and the experience feels very similar. Um, from a kind of GPS and heart rate monitoring performance, it's absolutely fine, not perfect. Um, you can pair an external chest strap monitor, so you, know, you can improve that heart rate monitoring accuracy, which is great to see. I think if you look at what your kind of, where this watch sits against other watches you're looking at things like the polar unite if you're looking at polar's range um and then things like the garmin 445 now if you look at the polar unite um that has connected gps so you have to use your phone to get that gps experience and that definitely feels a bit more like a fitness focused watch um, and you've got shorter battery life as well i think it's four to five days uh um on that front and if you look at the garmin 4runner 45 which is still a really solid watch i think it's 130 pounds so it's a little bit more expensive than this like 10 pounds essentially um i think you're getting a similar kind of experience there or based on you know my testing with the 45 you are getting more battery life um across the board here so kind of standby smartwatch mode you know 30 day 25 30 days on the um kip run 500 and also kind of 20 plus um gps hours as well whereas the f1 of 45 is kind of 13 kind of 13 hours 15 hours so not fantastic uh but kind of going to be good enough for most people over a week's worth of training but if you look at as i said where it sits with those other watches potentially this could be a really strong option for people and if you didn't want to spend over 150 pounds this is looking like a really solid watch now based on my experience of the original chorus pace the battery life was fantastic um you're obviously you know whether you're going to get the same level of updates that the pace 2 the apex and the vertex will get is you know probably not going to be the case just because the storage capacity and the memory that you're getting here doesn't really kind of match what you're getting on those uh, watches and it would probably be the reason why Coros has discontinued this from their own range but they are offering an affordable option through Decathlon um, and for me experience so far has been pretty solid overall um, I'm looking forward to actually testing it a little bit more see how it kind of if that GPS performance gets any better and see if those kind of battery life numbers um, hold up as well but yeah the Kip Run 500 very good so far I think it sits very well in terms of the other watches you can buy at this price range based on my initial testing so there you have it that is our first run look at the kip run 500 gps watch now if you've got any questions about the watch or other watches you want to see how it kind of compares to let us know in the comments as always like and subscribe hit that little bell to find out about our latest videos and yeah we'll see you in the next run testers video